Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading. It will be for May 2021, though I am releasing these a little bit early. So from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy Libra. Uh, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux here. Okay, so message for Libra, please. Overarching energy for Libra. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> First time I've seen it in these readings this month. So, um, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> that is very nice energy for money, career, finances. Okay, so what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Men message for Libra. message for libra thank you money career finances for may 2021 thank you two cards wanted to come out so let's go with it we have wow we've got empowerment and strength nice messages there libra Message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides for May 2021. Money and career only. Thank you. So, yeah, we have visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience nice energy okay so libra i'm going to pull five cards starting with the challenge position what do we have for libra please in terms of money career finances for may 2021 please angel spirits guides money career finances only thank you Six of Wands in the challenge position. Nine of Swords. Lovely energy. Your the uh, the Empress is Venus in Taurus. Venus is your ruler. So we have the Empress here. Um, this is any obstacles to overcome. The tower is advice from spirit and outcome. Wow. Ace of pentacles. Beautiful energy. I'm going to get one more for this tower. King of wands. Okay, Libra. Let's start with this. I'm sometimes doing the main the main cards at the end of the reading, but I feel like doing it at the beginning for you. We have good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is destiny and obstacles are being removed. So this is things opening up for you. Very good with opportunity coming in and um, connections. It's just a lovely, lovely, lovely energy here. So it feels in this energy, it feels, uh, yeah, it, it just feels that things are opening up for you. Um, this can be the transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. And it also feels like a really powerful turning point here. But it's a, it's a good thing. Good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. There could be some lucky coincidence this month. It feels in this situation there's something to do with perfect timing as well. Things happening when they're meant to happen. And you're being told in this energy everything happens for a reason. And everything is happening for a reason. Because the Six of Wands is a card of victory, celebration, a significant achievement. But in the challenge position, it can be also 
where you've had a knock. Um, for me as a reader, it, it can be where you've been knocked. Uh, there's definitely this energy of staying in your power to overcome the challenge that you face. And that is definitely what the message I'm getting here is. Um, it feels in this situation, I'm getting this energy Libra that you have had a knock because again, I'm seeing this strength card. Now strength is when we have to be strong, face our fears, rise to a challenge, face our adversities, the resoluteness to stay in our power and not let something overcome us. You know, the strength is a card of overcoming. Um, so I'm definitely getting in this energy that some of you may have been knocked in some way, shape or form in money, career, finances, but it feels like you are getting your power back. This is an empowering energy. So lovely, lovely energy. The message is to, with your energy itself, focus on the abundant side of things. Because the advice from spirit is if you focus on the negative, it will own you this month. It will own you to the point where you won't see the wood from the trees. You know, this is where the mind can be our best friend or our worst enemy with the nine of swords. And it creates the illusion of things being beyond our control. Now, for some of you, it might well be certain factors were beyond your control, but this is definitely an energy of the need to keep your head. Um, the sword is to do with our head, our mindset, our perspective, our thought patterns. And that can also be what you need to master here. You know, the strength card in, in tarot can be as much about our thought patterns as about a physical facing of fear, facing adversity, having the strength and courage to rise to something. So it definitely feels in this situation, you're being told, yeah, you might be feeling stressed, you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, stress, worry, anxiety, sleepless nights, but you are absolutely being protected. You see that blanket of the universe, you are being protected in this energy. But what you're not seeing is when you give power to the negative, and this is why your energy is so important to focus on how you can visualize abundance, because if you visualize the negative, it just feels worse, spirals out of control. And this is your obstacle to overcome, because with the Empress, Spirit is reminding you, remember who you are. The Empress represents abundance, the creation of something new, the birth of something new. She is very good in terms of love, but she's also very, very good in terms of money areas as well manifestation, creating something new, along with God, the divine, the universe. So there is definitely, and, and I feel in this situation between these two cards, the block is, and she can be a block energy in a challenge position, you know, which is the obstacle to overcome. It, it feels in the situation you're, you're forgetting who you are, you know, and she can be also linked with the law of attraction, what you put out to the universe is what you get back. The negative energy is rewarded with negative energy. And that's the Wheel of Fortune as well. You know, the, real, the Wheel of Fortune rewards what we put out there, you know? And so there's definitely this energy of expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune is open to you here. There's definitely an energy I'm getting of remember who you are. You have everything that you need, the resourcefulness, everything at your disposal to manifest a new reality for yourself, new abundance for yourself. So it's a really powerful message, law of attraction energy here, Libra. The advice from spirit is the tower and the king of wands. So the tower is, we do sometimes feel a tower is beyond our control. The tower can be about the tearing down of the old. 
in order to rebuild a new tower. We tear down many towers and rebuild many towers in our lives. It's all part of evolution and growth. And there is new growth available to you, though some of you aren't seeing it. Some of you aren't owning your power. You know, the, the tower energy is an act of love from the universe to align you to where you need to be. Uh, this is a square tower, your round crown, something doesn't fit anymore. And change needs to happen. Now this could be the pandemic for some of you. Um, it can also be some kind of life-changing event, you know, that has unfolded here uh, in terms of money, career, business. But the King of Wands is somebody who isn't defeated. The King of Wands is somebody who wears their crown of power, you know, and takes action to bring growth and success and take the lead in their life. You know, they are a sign of power, authority, success uh, by the actions that they take. So there's definitely an energy of either you being in your power in dealing with some kind of changing times here to, because for some of you, there is a reason to take action, to bring advancement. Now, it could well be that there is a person, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Jeremy, this is Leo for me as a reader. Um, there could be a person who can bring significant change your way, a life-changing opportunity, or a life-changing, who is of life-changing influence in your life this month as well. Uh, the King of Wands can be a very magnetic, charismatic leader, male or female energy. So for some of you, it's either the energy of that card, and some of you it will be there could be a person who is bringing a life-changing opportunity your way. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the new path, the new abundance. The Ace of Pentacles represents career, financial opportunity, um, very good in terms of jobs, very good in terms of uh, if you're starting something new, new business opportunity. Um, could be some good news to do with money areas, loans and so on. Uh, can also be moving, relocating with this card as well, Libra. But the Ace is the beginnings of a new path. It feels in this situation the golden opportunity is presenting itself here. And it feels that this is the path. The universe just doesn't leave you in this period of destruction. The universe is guiding you with good luck, good fortune towards this Ace of Pentacles. You know... There could be some coincidence this month, like I've said. There could be just hitting something, you know. It could be a CV going on the desk at the right time to the right person. It could be a conversation being happening at the right time with the right person, you know. It feels like that kind of energy, Libra, but it definitely feels like it's leading towards where this tower is aligning you and it's aligning you towards this Ace of Pentacles because this is the gift. You know, this is the gift from the universe, the hand of God giving you a gift. So I definitely feel in this energy, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. But remember who you are, that's what you're being told, and I'm getting that quite strongly. This is rem remembering your power, what you're capable of, uh, being strong, strong in the face of fear, challenge, adversity, and keep your head you know, there's definitely an energy of, it feels like you've been knocked, but keep your head because it definitely feels for some of you that there is an opportunity to be back in your power. Um, so quite a powerful energy there, Libra, I have to say. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final card for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final card for Libra, thank you. Money and career, finances. What do we have for Libra, thank you, for May 2021? Thank you. 
Yeah, I love the Penguin card. We have Diamond Light Activation. Light activations are, and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying. You know, the mindset can block if you're not careful. And this is about taking control of something that's controlling you here, controlling your energy. Because I, I feel for some of you, endings and beginnings, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and it feels like something is opening up for you. And it's what this, it's, it's meant to be energy. It's what this tower was all about. This had to happen in order to get this. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.